Hello and welcome to the Lucian video tutorial series. In today's video, we're going to go over the ScanSnap scanner, specifically how to set it up to work with FileCenter and how to do ScanSnap scanning into FileCenter. First, a word or two about the ScanSnaps. The ScanSnap scanners are popular and with good reason. They're fast, they're reliable, and as desktop scanners go, they're really cheap. However, this comes at a price. In order to keep the scan snaps as simple as possible, Fujitsu chose to not include drivers for the scanners. Well, what does that mean? It's simple. Drivers are what allow other programs to integrate with the scanner. In simpler terms, what that means is here in File Center, where you've got the scan dialog and you can select a scanner, the scan snap is never going to show up on this list because other programs can't connect to the ScanSnap scanner. They can't control the ScanSnap. The only way to scan with a ScanSnap is through Fujitsu software. Well, luckily, we were able to work out an integration with the ScanSnap. Now, you still can't scan using the Scan button here in File Center. That's not going to happen because there's no driver. But File Center is able to capture scans and bring them directly into your selected location inside of a cabinet. And in this video, we're going to show you how to set up that integration and how to perform those scans. Okay, let's show you how to do this setup. First thing we're going to do is just minimize File Center for now. And now we've moved down to the bottom right corner of our screen, down here where the clock is. This area is called the System Tray. And down here, you should see an icon that looks like this. It's the ScanSnap Manager. If by chance you don't see that icon, you probably have a little button like this, this little arrow button. If you click that, it's going to show all of the icons that are down there, even the hidden ones, and you should be able to find the ScanSnap Manager inside of this grouping. Now, I do have it right here, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to right mouse click on this icon. Now, if you click on the icon and you're not getting the menu that I'm seeing right here, it's because you're clicking with the wrong button. You have to make sure that you click with the right mouse button. And the option that we're looking for is right here. It's called Scan Button Settings. Click that. Now you'll probably see a dialog similar to this. Yours might be bigger. And in fact, if yours is small like this, the first thing we want to do is come here to this Detail button. We'll click that. Now we'll expand it so now we can see all of the options. Now, if you have this Quick Menu option selected, the first thing we want to do is deselect that. We're going to need to have that deselected in order to set some of these settings down here. Additionally, we want to make sure that we're selected on the Application tab down here below. That's where we're going to be adding File Center as one of the supported applications for the ScanSnap. So go there now if you're not already there. Now what we have here is a list of applications that the ScanSnap can send scans to. And our goal is to add File Center to this list and, in fact, to make File Center the default if that's your choice. You don't have to make File Center the default. But for now, let's get File Center on that list. So we click Add or Remove right here. And this brings up a window of custom applications that have been added. Yours probably looks like this with none at all. We're going to click Add. And now we see this window. First thing we need to do is browse out to our applications. We're going to browse out to where File Center is. Click Browse. And if you installed File Center to the default location, you're going to find it here on your C drive under Program Files x86. Scroll down a little bit and you'll see File Center. And you need to go into the main folder and then look for FileCenter.exe. And we'll click Open. And the only thing left now is to give this application a name, which is obviously going to be File Center. And there's no need to use these test buttons. In fact, these tests really won't even work for the way that File Center is going to integrate with the ScanSnap. So skip the tests and just click OK. There's our application. It's been added. And now click Close. Well, now you've got a couple of choices to make. The first choice is how you're going to be doing this scanning. Uh, specifically, ScanSnap has this quick menu option. What that means is when you do a scan with your ScanSnap scanner, the ScanSnap then pops up a list of options afterwards for sending it to email or sending it to various programs. If you like having that menu pop up every time you scan, 
select Use Quick Menu, and then File Center will be one of the options on that menu. But if you want to just automatically, by default, send your scans to File Center, then come down here, find File Center on the list, select that, and hit Apply. Now your next choice is about OCR, or Optical Character Recognition. Uh, this is the process that happens after a scan, which makes your scan a searchable scan. It identifies the text in the scan and turns it into real text. Now, you can have OCR done in one of two ways. The Scan Snap is able to use OCR, or File Center can perform the OCR for you. Or you can disable OCR completely if you just don't care about that. If you prefer to have the Scan Snap do your OCR, you need to come over here to the File Option tab, and then you select this option right here convert to searchable PDF. And here's what will happen. Your scan will happen, OCR will happen, and then it'll pop open in File Center, which is a little bit of an awkward flow. Uh, most of our users prefer to just let File Center handle the OCR. And if you want that to be the case, make sure this isn't selected, and then we'll show you how to turn that on over in File Center. Well, that's it for setup. Let's go ahead and click OK. Well, now we've switched back over to File Center, and let me show you where that setting is for OCR. If you come up here to Settings, and you select the OCR option on the left, you'll see an option here that says Perform OCR on ScanSnap Scans. If you select that, then File Center is going to run OCR after a ScanSnap scan comes in using these settings up here. We'll click OK. Well, the only thing left to do now is do a scan with the scan snap so you can see how this works. I've got my scan snap set up and uh, plugged into my computer. I've got a document loaded. In File Center, I now go to the cabinet, drawer, and folder where I want this scan to be saved. And once I'm there, I just push the button on my scan snap. And there it goes. Okay, it's sending it to File Center, and there we go. The scan arrives in File Center, and immediately this dialog pops up, allowing me to give the scan a good name. So let's go ahead and name this scan. And by the way, you'll note that you've got your naming options and your uh, custom lists available for naming. Now I click OK, and there's my new scan. It's been named and it's been deposited in File Center. Now if I want to see what the scan looks like to see that it came in properly, I've always got my file preview right here. I can open the preview window, go through the pages really quick, and take a look at the scan. So you can see that even though you can't integrate the scan snap with the scan button here in File Center, it's still very fast and very easy to scan with a scan snap in File Center. A very quick and effective way to deposit scans directly into your file cabinet, and really a great integration.